Hello, good evening. Hello. How are you doing, people? Excited. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I agree with you. Okay, so I agree. It's, it's Wednesday. You know, this is the hump day of mm -hmm. the week. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this is the top. And then tomorrow we begin to to go down again. Okay, that's the that's the good news. Mm -hmm. That's the good news. Okay, so that we have already passed the half of the uh, of the let's say of the week, right? Okay. Yes. Then, uh, hello, Maria. How are you? How's everything? Good evening. Okay. How was your day? Um. Go. Good. Busy. Busy. Okay. Busy. Uh, but uh, do you like say uh, do you have to work all day or just part time or do you do home office? Um. Um. I'm at. Uh, I am a mixed you... work. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of. A lot of both. Okay, so you have to stay home. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sometimes, yeah, and sometimes I, I. You I have to go to the to work. work. I have to work. Have okay. To, I have to work. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. You know, that's nice. Great. Okay, good. So we have for today. What do we have? Yesterday. Ah, okay, we have the reading, right? This class, we have to understand it when it's scanning for a specific information. All right, people, so we're going to have this one. Let me share my, my screen. No, here we go. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Anna. Good evening. Okay, here we have. Let me fix this. Okay, so on the reading section, do we have it here now? No. We don't need an extra window. We don't need this one either. So this is the one we need. I don't know why at this time the internet goes slower. All right. So we have a uh, unique customs. Let's look at the photos. What do you think is happening in its picture, right? Uh, when we talk about mm. customs are, you know, like the like the traditions, right? So we have customs and traditions. And in different countries, uh, also families, uh, we also have uh, maybe uh, towns in the same country, you know, there are certain differences, right? So uh, when we have this one, uh, we can read in this uh, first paragraph, say, look at the photos, what do you think is happening in each picture? So the first paragraph, the first paragraph reads, January 17 is St. Anthony's Day. Okay, in Mexico, it's a day when people ask for protection for their animals by bringing them to the church, not to church. 
But before the animals go into the church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. Okay, so this is uh, a tradition, right? Obviously, in the United uh, in Mexico. Okay, who wants to read the number two on August fifteenth? Me, teacher. Okay, sister, please go ahead. <clears throat> on August fifteenth of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chuseok also known as a Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean the grave, grave sites. The grave sites. Okay. That's very similar to El Salvador, right? In a, in a way. Okay. Thank you, sister. Very nice. Good pronunciation. How about number three? Who wants to read that? Mm, Ami. Okay. Uh, long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk uh, bracelet to an emperor. Emperor? Emperor. Although he did not arrive in time to help her, he kept the the bracelet in a sign to, of the a bond between between them. Today in India during the festival of Raki, men promise to to be loyal to their woman. In change, the woman give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, uh, of gold thread. Okay, good. So this is you know. Uh... Probably a custom they have, right, where the women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, yeah. or gold thread. Okay. After we're going to give some examples, uh, we're going to uh, talk about some customs here in El Salvador, right? Okay, who wants to read number four? One volunteer for number four? Anybody? Hi, teacher. Okay, Martin. Thank you very much. Go ahead. One of the biggest celebration in Argentina is New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31, families get together and have a big meal at midnight. Fireworks explode everywhere and continue the throw out the night. This is a day when friends and families meet for parties which last until the, the next morning. The next morning. Okay, very good. So this is, you know, December 1st, similar, right? Families get together, have a big meal, midnight fireworks flow, similar to Latin America, right? There might be some differences. Okay, who wants to read the number five? Me, teacher. Okay, Stephanie, thank you. Um, on the evening of February 3rd, people in Japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of, of spring. This is known as Setsumbun. Family members through that dry beans around their homes Showing good luck in, good luck in evil spirits out. After they threw the beams, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. <laughs> that, I like that one. It's very nice, huh? So it's, it's in the Japan's. You know, Japanese people have very um a, I don't know interesting customs it says uh people in japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of spring this is known as setsuban so this is you know dry beans 
and they said that they have out oh, evil spirits go away and they throw beans they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age <laughs> imagine if you are 50 50 years you have to eat 50 beans and if you are 10 you have to eat 10 so it's good sounds interesting okay questions about this vocabulary does anybody have a question about vocabulary, uh, expressions, or uh, I don't know, a phrase, or an idea that is not very clear? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. throw, throw, throw goat. Uh, throw? Yes, throw, go, throw goat. Ah, throughout. Throughout. Uh -huh. It says, for example, through, uh, when you use the expression throughout, it means uh, throughout the year is all the year, right? Um, when you use the, they say everywhere and continue throughout the night, all night. Okay? Uh, yes. So then it's the complete night, all the night. Yes. All night. All right. Yes. What yeah, else? It's, it's like... It's like the expression online long. Uh, oh, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, all the. You can use okay. uh, online long. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah. Through throughout. Throughout the night. Okay. Yes. Throughout all the night. All night long. Yeah. Okay. Have to be. Okay. Cool. Okay, people. Nice. Every, any other expression word? Mm. Okay, now think about one custom here in El Salvador or tradition that we have. For example, suppose here in El Salvador on, let me see, November May, two. Uh -huh, November, November 2, we go to the, we go to the, let's say the cemetery, right? So we visit the graveyard of our family members who, who are not with us anymore, right? And then um, we take flowers. Well, not everybody does the same in this case, right? Depending on the yeah. on the graveyard, you know that your family members are because if you go to some places, they don't let you go in with natural flowers, right? You have to take artificial flowers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some people decide not to buy flowers, just to go, uh, spend the day in the place, eat, uh, celebrate, remember anecdotes with your beloved ones, and that's it. Okay. Do you know any other tradition for November 2nd or custom here in El Salvador? The fireball fire ah. in the Japa. Ah. Okay, that's not when, when is that one? It's, I think it's in January uh, or February. In September, or I don't know. Uh, is there is uh, a, yes, there is a it boat. was it was in November, but uh, I think it's it's ending. Uh huh. No more. And it's not yet now. No, no more. more. No, no more, no more firewall custom. fights. Uh, because because uh, I think. He, it was the the last uh, the last celebration. It was uh, um, last year um, an emer an emergency with with mm -hmm. some people that about about fire. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, that could have happened, right? So then. But uh, it was an interesting uh, custom, right? People, you yeah. know, throwing balls to uh, other guys. Okay, me, little me well. Me uh -huh. me, uh, as, uh, cemetery is a uh, old place. Uh, gravity is uh, on is only for one person into the place. The grave. Grave, grave site. I had the gravesite. It's, it had the place, the exact place exactly. where the person uh -huh, 
uh, is, right? So and that cemetery is, is old place. Exactly, right? It's the general. General. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What is another custom here in El Salvador? Uh, the cross day. The crosses day. Yes, we celebrate with a cross and a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of fruit, right? A lot of fruit and flowers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fruits, flowers, yes, and some other. Independence Day. Independence Day. Independence yeah. Day. The, for Independence mm -hmm. Day, usually we only have the. We don't have uh, act many activities in the family, right? For example, in the United States, the in the Independence Day, the friends or families get together and they cook hamburgers, hot dogs, yeah, and and they watch the oh, fireworks, the, the fireworks in a yeah. park or in a special place. Okay. Here in El Salvador, usually we we watch the parade if we yeah. have the if we want to go, right? If not, we stay home and maybe watch movies and we only enjoy the day off. Okay. See the parade on TV? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you have if you like it, if not, there are some people that they prefer to to watch to, uh, a game or a movie. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, what is another, uh, let's say, um, the New Year's Eve is saying Argentina. Oh, the yes. Is saying in all countries, uh -huh. maybe. Yes, and even in December, families get together, have a big meal. Yes. Then at midnight, fireworks explode, then everywhere in the country and continue throughout the night. Yes, that's true. Okay. Uh, another custom maybe to celebrate the Mother's Day, right? Yeah. Or, Usually or... Uh, uh, people uh, have a cake, celebrate with a cake, a good lunch, uh, dinner, or breakfast. Or uh, trip, or go out trip. Uh -huh. and, or we, and presents, right? Gifts. For the for the mother, yeah. Yes. Okay. The the custom in Awachapan mm -hmm. is only Awachapan the fly. Oh yeah. The, the say, oh, who dice farol farol farol. Uh, the farolitos. Ah uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In yes, September. Are... September eight uh, at eight and night. Is the farolito? Where, where is, uh, where, where is that? In Awachapan. In Awachapan, but uh, it's a celebration. Yeah. It's a but celebration. what do they celebrate? Uh, September eight in night, in, in night of September. No, no, I remember. No, what is the celebration? Uh. Is uh, she uh, mm, she is uh, you don't know so, uh, you know no, yeah I know uh, los encienden los farolitos uh -huh. no but what uh -huh. and in 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 uh, in a uh, Una fuente, uh, yeah, yeah, y en uh, in uh, each house, and, um, no, Byron is, 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 I think he lives in, in our Japan. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, but in the, <laughs> in the celebration, what is the celebration? Only farolitos, only no, farolitos. Yeah, but I mean the, the, the purpose cultural, cultural cultural only cultural only only to light the yes, lan lanterns yes, yes only but they, there is not a special a, there is not a special it's a, celebration it's a great carnival it's, it's a carnival. carnival okay yeah okay so then that's the the lanterns okay the lanterns uh carnival yeah okay good 
so then this is now we're going to answer the questions here and what is the meaning of them okay in part one line two animals 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 right It says, uh, it's a day when people ask for protection for their animals, right? So then it says, by bringing them, okay, good. This is a reference. This is reading a strategy. It, part two, line two. It. It is Korean. Uh, right now, it's another Thanksgiving today. When okay, part two, paragraph two. A day, it's a day when people give. It's Shusok. Korean celebrate Shusok also. As Korean Thanksgiving, it is a day when people. So then, it refers to what? Uh, it is a day. Thanksgiving. Uh -huh, but lunar calendar, Koreans or Chuseok. Chuseok. Lunar Chusok. calendar. It's a in the lunar calendar. Okay, lunar on August fifteenth of the lunar calendar. Okay, when it says it refers to on August fifteenth of the lunar calendar, Korean celebrate Chuseok, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It is a day when people give thanks for the harvest. So it is referring to? Chusak. 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 Okay. There, part two, line four. Okay, it is people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves. So there is Korean families, ancestors, or people. Ancestors. Ancestors. Okay, good. And them. In part three refers to women, men, or bracelets. No. Them. Bracelets. Then women. Compared to their women, in exchange, the women give them. Okay, women. And number five? This bar, this man, I, New Year's Eve. Families. Families. And, and number six, them in part five, line five. Or five, one, two, three, four, five. Good luck, evil spirits out. After they throw the beans, okay. they pick them up and eat Be them. Beans. The beans? Oh. Yes, teacher. Yes. No, the people? No, the beans. No. Oh, the beans. It's wrong. Yeah. And the point. Five question. Yeah, four and five. Four and five. <laughs> Three. Oh, five and six. Wow. Oh, my God. So we have one, two. Three. Yes, Korean families. Korean Men. families? Yes. They are Korean families. Men. Um, uh, men give, okay. Then, 
New Jersey. This. No, New no. Jersey. This midnight. New Jersey Eve. New Jersey. Okay, so we have. But uh, the correct is the first answer because if you read the paragraph mm -hmm. is is other mm -hmm. answer. Which one number? Which number, Herbert? Oh, uh, the, 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 the answer, the bad answer uh, was correct. Number what? What number? Uh, for example, for example, uh, the three. Number three. Number, number, number three, yes. Number three says. You, you, first. Uh -huh, their ancestors. Uh, Part two, life four. Porque they part two, line is two, line. Sister, yes. I go into their graves. Uh huh, correct. To take them. Yes, their graves in here. The two answer maybe is correct. Korean families. No. no. I will go for ancestors, yes. Okay, it's a day it's when an people an get an harvest. Korean families uh, yes. honor their ah, okay, wait. Korean families honor ancestors. their ancestor. Okay, yes, there is to Korean families mm, by going yes. to their graves. And this one, the second there is for ancestors. The first mm. there is for Korean families. Ah yes. Okay, and they probably they they are taking the first, the first there. In that case, yes. Then number three, part two, line four. Yes. So this is one. Okay, one, two, three. Now what's this one? One, two, three, four. Uh, it should be their graves. Yes. Okay, but it's in the number three. Yes. It should be, they, they took in the answer this, but in the question is this. Okay, that is the yes. now that's the situation. Good. Nice observation for you. Yes. Okay. Now these are for example the a uh, they call this reference. Okay, because to understand what the, let's say what the, uh, what you are talking about, you need a reference first. Okay, once you have the reference, then you can use the pronouns, okay? So in English, okay. they call them reference, the strategy for reading. Okay. And then okay, we're going to have a, a review. This is the midterm. Yes, yeah, circle the words. So circle the words, read the, the sentence, and choose the correct part of the two carve bear missing okay when you have please you have to choose clean off clean up or clean on the bathroom clean up so the we have up. the word correct is to say clean up right that means to okay. clean very well and then could you please the groceries in the kitchen grower up or away away the first one Mm, away. The, away. away. Okay. Over. Put away Over. is to keep. Okay. Like guardar, right? Put away. Yes. Yes. Put off is to turn off the fire. Put off the fire. Okay. Can you turn? Turn up. Turn down. 
the TV while I am on the phone. Turn down because I am okay. speaking on the phone. Turn down. Okay. Part two. Read the sentences and choose between an infinitive or a gerund, okay? Which one we're going to use? Microwave ovens are used? To cook. To cook food very fast. For, cook for cooking. When you go to the beach, try. Try not to get. Try not to get the camcorder wet. Okay, you can use my cell phone. Mm -hmm. To leave. Yeah, to leave. To leave. Okay. And don't forget. To take. To take your ATM card with you. One wrong. No? One, One is wrong. wrong. We'll see. Oh, no. Oh. no, they are. Uh, oh, yes. Well, for cooking. For cooking. For are cook used for, cook for cooking. For cooking. Uh huh. Okay. We're just playing that teacher. Yes. Okay. What do you use a pen for? Okay, I must do. Okay. What is a pen for? Or the, what is the use? What is the use of a pen? Uh, uh -oh. No, the what pen. For... Uh -huh. The pen is for writing. Okay. Yeah. And the let's say the computer is for uh, connecting to classes, for working, uh, for probably a. Uh, research doing research on the internet and then when you talk about here what is the number okay for okay. okay here they are not referring to the to the how can i show this to the past tense they are referring for example in a passive voice what is the purpose of a microwave what do we use the microwave for uh -huh. the the microwave is for cooking oh, for the refrigerator is for uh -huh. is uh -huh, for oh, keeping oh. uh -huh. okay is the refrigerator oh. is used for mm -hmm. keeping oh. the food fresh mm -hmm. yes the um, the TV is used for watching. Watching, yes. Okay, good. Or for entertaining people. The the cell phone is used for calling to my friend. For calling my friends, for receiving calls, for texting. Okay, or sometimes in some cases for working. Okay. So in this case is the what is the purpose of the object? What do we use it for? Okay. For example, the glasses are used for see be, see see uh -huh. seeing better. Exactly. For seeing, for seeing better for seeing better, right? Okay. For uh improve for improving right your site okay so that's the reason because it's the the used okay the purpose of the in this case of the object okay so the rest are yes all of them are good okay 
the next one. Rewriting. Read the instructions, please, uh, Anna. Rewrite. Me? Read the instructions, please. Uh, rewrite the sentences. Mm -hmm. Use the correct form of the words given. Remember to add a question mark at the end of your request. Okay, good. Now, this one is use the correct form of the words given. Remember to add a question mark at the end of your request. Now, could maybe could you please close the door? Uh, could could you could you please could you please close the door? Could please could you please close the door? Uh, period, please. Close. Could you please? Close well, that, that's correct. I don't know if the platform will accept. Okay, no, the word please. No, no, I said this. No? no? Okay, at the end, yes. yes. Could you close? Could you... But if you say, could you please close the door, it's correct because it makes more emphasis, okay? Yes, he's saying that. No, I said. Uh -huh. Okay, could you close? The door. The door, the comma. Or who then you say the please. The comma, yes. Please. And the question mark. Yes, only the question. Okay. Please take out the garbage. Would you please? In this take case, out yes. The Would you please? Take the garbage. Take out the garbage question mark yes question mark the next one would you would mind would you mind would you mind i have i have problem there okay you remember the negative form would yes. you mind? Not. Done, done. Not. Okay. Uh -huh. no, not. Oh, okay. Not sit there. Not. Please stay. What else? Not sit there. Not sit there. Are you sure? Uh, Would you mind not sit there? Okay, let's continue. But think about the number three. Please take the cat out. Can you please? Can you please? Take the cat. The cat out. Out. The question mark. Okay. Yes. The next one. Would you repeat that, please? Would you repeat that? Okay, we have good you repeat that and then we have a question mark. okay what about number three could you repeat that it's your name ah we're missing please right could you repeat that please Okay, I'm gonna play and use, I'm going to send it and then you will see. Look, number three. Point, the point, the last is. Could you comma. repeat? Ah, oh, yes, yes, I made a mistake here. 
my mistake. Mm. Okay, and number three. Would you mind don't sit there? Not sit there. Uh -huh. That's what it says. And it's wrong. No, but the bird do. Don't. Ah, no, no. Would you mind not? Because you use, you cannot use would you mind don't. Because uh, would is not the absolute pair of don't. Okay. Thank you. So this, the mistake is, it's in this area. Okay. Not sit there. Don't sit there. No, because you you are using would you mind? Yes, sir. Not yes. to sit Could there. Mind? Could you mind not not, not to? Not, not to, to see, not, not to, to see. see. Mm, not to, not to see. I don't think so. Not no. sitting there. Ah, okay. Finally, mercy. Good. Not sitting. Not sitting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Yes. Remember, when you say, would you mind not sitting? Would you mind sitting? Would you mind speaking? Would you mind turning off? Would you mind turning on? Okay. Or would you mind not sitting there? Would you mind not speaking loud? Would you mind not screaming? Okay. So that's the one. Can you please... And why in the second one does uh don't say would you please take in? Because it's would you, no would you mind? Oh okay. Okay, when you use mind, Stephanie, okay, say okay. would you mind spelling? Would you mind explaining? And when you say would you explain please, would you please explain this? Uh, would you mind is more more formal than would you please? It's similar, but more formal. When you say, would you what? please, it's like, me explicaría, por favor. Okay. And in would you mind is, le importa explicarme? Otra vez, right? Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Good, good question, good question. And then, and do my number four, mm -hmm. what is, uh, can you please? Take the cat, take the cat out. out. Okay. And then don't forget the question marks. Okay. Then you can see here the possible answers. Would you please take the garbage out? Would you mind not sitting there? Uh, can you please take the cat out? Could you repeat that, please? Or could you repeat that, please? Okay. If you forget the comma, the correct one is with the comma. Okay, but if you forget the comma, they accept uh, the correct one. Okay, no questions? Okay, so remember these are requests. Okay, in a polite manner. Now, here you have a listening. Okay, that has one, two, three, four questions. The uh, first one is, as Stephanie says, Richard is a geek, a hacker, or a mouse. Barry asked Marta how to play computer games, okay? Then uh, Barry asked Marta how to scan photographs or surf the internet. 
She uses her computer to play games. Her roommates use her computer a lot. Her computer isn't working properly. Then you have three choices for each one. Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer. Okay. Now listen. Teacher, I don't hear. Excuse me? I can, I can hear. I can hear. You can hear? I don't, I don't hear. Okay, wait a minute. Yes, okay. Just turn off your turn off your microphones and I will turn off my camera just because for the internet too. Okay, so then then we can have better. Don't worry about him. He bought and listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Now you can hear? Yeah. No. No. Hey, Stephanie. No idea. Have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either. But don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here. Be sure to put it face down and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then... Four. How do you like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? There are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this, and then press this key here. That was easy. Thanks. Okay. So we have here. Okay, Stephanie says Richard is a geek. A geek, you know, something, you know, a person who knows a lot, right? Like, like a nerd, okay? So in this case, it's a geek. Barry asked Martha how to search the internet. How to photographs. Scan, photographs. scan photographs. Scan photographs, right? Sometimes it's complicated. But now you have a lot of uh, uh, applications, right, to, to help you do that. According to Eva, her roommates use her computer a lot. Her roommates use her computer a lot. Okay. And Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer. I like text. I like text. I like text. Okay. Good. 
I'm gonna get 10 in my test. I'm doing good. Okay, next one. I think there is one reading, yeah. And then we have one matching. Okay, we're gonna go this one. Did you read this one? We're gonna read it here. Okay, listen. Dear Sally, we live in a neighborhood where everyone knows each other and we all get along pretty well. However, a new family recently moved in and now we have some problems. The family's two teenagers play their music really loudly. When we politely asked, would you mind turning the music down? They just look at us. Next, the family destroy a beautiful tree. I hated to see them cutting it down. It ran out and shouted, could you please leave the tree alone? But they chopped it down away. Anyway, they also have dogs that bark loudly all day. We've said many times, please keep your dogs inside at night so we can get some sleep but they won't do it. We don't know what to do anymore. How can we all get along? Dear Slowly, you have made polite request with no results. The next time you hear loud music or barking dogs, call your local police. That should solve those problems. Unfortunately, there is nothing you can do about the tree, about the tree. Try to stay polite and let the police take care of your dangers. Yeah. Okay, when they do not understand, you have to take other measures. Okay, how did the teens respond to the neighbor's request? They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. So what happened as the tree was being chopped down? The new family continued, new family continued to cut it down. it down. Yes. What is the problem with the dogs? They are outside barking all the time. They are outside barking all the time. Yes. And what was Sally's advice? What was Sally's advice? Let the police solve the problem. Let the police solve the problem. Okay. You were, you were polite. You try, but they don't listen. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And I think we have time for the last one. Oh. Uh, In this one, we are going too much. What is the second half, okay, for each uh, beginning of a sentence, right? So when you have here, before a young man and woman speak, okay, so then we have to see, they sometimes arrange another date, they usually talk on the telephone, they might chat with each Excuse other me. on the internet, yes? Excuse me, and the, and the, the, uh, the 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 last the last in the and the and the number one uh what is not, uh, um my this one don't mark me I think they usually talk on the phone. Okay, they this might, one, yes. Let's say before a young man and woman speak. They might chat. No, they might chat with each other on the internet. Probably. Uh-huh. Or they often meet in a public space. They often meet in a public place. Mm -hmm. Yes, a coffee shop. Yes, this too could be. Okay, before they meet for the first time? They usually talk. Okay, now probably they... 
they sometimes around another date. No. Uh, maybe. Before they meet for the first time. They, they usually talk the on the telephone. Uh, no. I guess. Or they man chat with each other on the internet. Oh, they often meet mm. in a public place. No, because this it says before they meet for the first, uh -huh, first for time. the first time. Ah, mm. maybe they meet in a they public meet. place. Okay, when they have the first date, they usually talk of the telephone. Uh, probably after that could be the other two left. They, they sometimes arrange them. another date. Aha, yeah. uh -huh. they sometimes arrange another date. Okay, let's suppose. If not, we change it. Yes. And after they meet for the first time, they sometimes arrange another date. Another date. After they meet for the first time, they usually talk on the telephone. They usually talk on the telephone. Okay, mm. probably. All of them wrong. Okay. <laughs> None except the first this, one. This, the second one, okay. I say they usually talk on the telephone. Before they meet. Okay. Maybe. The third the third one? Hmm. They they sometimes arrange another date. They it's that that's the one they have. Okay, so they often meet. And this one? After they meet for the first time. No, but that's the first one, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. They might catch up. Oh my God, look. All of them are right. Okay. So before a young woman speak, a man and a woman speak, they might chat with uh, each other in the internet, right? Now it's commonly. Before they meet for the first time, they talk on the phone. And when they have their first date, it's in a public place or in a coffee shop. And after they meet for the first time, they arrange a second date. Okay. And then, okay, we finish. So for tomorrow, we have the as an objective is past, present, and future tenses. Okay, so we're gonna have this one. Uh, now this is, we're going to have the practice and review of verb tenses. Uh, let me see what else we have. Okay, now just let me check on the list. So, in a quick way. Okay, turn. Okay, who's this? Nine to ten. Okay, so here we have. Let me see. We have uh, Amanda Yamilet is here, right? Yes. And then we have uh, Ana Beatriz. Yes. I'm here, teacher. Andrea Diana. Yes. Mercy. Yes, is here too. Angel Isaac. Angel. Angel. Circle. Oh, yes, you have him talking. Byron, Giovanni. Who's Byron? Not today. 
Uh, sister Ivan, sister, sister, you were, yes, you were reading in the uh, before. Dennis Aronai, Dennis, 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 no. Herbert, yes, Herbert Evan. Yes, present. Juan Carlos Cuvillas, please help me, Carlos. No. Uh, Catherine, yes, Catherine, Johanna. Present teacher. Present. Uh, yes, Cuvillas, now Juan is Juan, you changed Juan, yes, good. Uh, Kenny Jamilet. Yes. Present. Luis Miguel is here too. I'm here. Maria Delmi. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you're there. Martin De Jesus. I'm here. Yeah, Martin, is, is you're there. Yes. Nuria Sarai. No. Okay. Then we have Rebecca. Yes, there. And yes. yes, and Stephen. Stephanie Jamilet. Okay, good. Your teacher. Yes. All right, good. Okay, people. Uh, then for tomorrow we're going to practice verbs in present, in past, and also we're going to have the future tense, and then we begin a section four. So we're gonna have uh, more time to go uh, through the other units. Please don't forget to complete the platform, right? So because I I see that uh, some of you already finished, others don't. So try to complete the platform, and then uh, we keep we can uh, have more time to practice. Okay, so that's all for today. Have a very good night, and see you tomorrow. Okay, same time. Take care, okay? Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.